This pattern called the Water Cricket is the first pattern found in Pritt's uh, classic book North Country Flies. And it uses the breast feather taken from a golden plover, which is in this here. Now, in Pritt's illustration, um, the feather seems to be darker than it actually is. Pritt uh, hand paints those illustrations so they're. You know they're, they're often not quite as as precise as they should be so as i say the breast feather taken from the golden plover is slightly lighter in shade than the one that is uh, illustrated in Pritt's uh, book so that's an important point to know now the silk he uses he says orange but he never says whether it's a lighter orange or a darker orange personally i like a, a fairly darkish hot orange to dress this pattern with and he gives two dressings for it he he says an orange body or a yellow body uh, sometimes the orange body is also ribbed with a black silk which is probably my favorite uh, style of this pattern so this is the one i'm going to dress so simply come in with your orange silk and start it about two silk wraps behind the eye of the hook right catching your thread three or four tight turns of silk before trimming off the waist and now to get a nice even body what we've got to do is we've got to mount in our rib straight away so we don't get any bumps at the back end of the fly when, uh, when we mount the rib in his, as we would do if we mounted it in the back so we're going to put it in the front here just catch it in with, with the silk Pull it to us so there's hardly any silk showing, and then use your your silk. Keep it taut, and then you use it to form your body. So I'm coming down in tight touching turns, and because I've kept that black silk rib quite taut, it's ensuring that each preceding turn of silk will be tight. Up to the next. Now you want to keep your fly body reasonably short. Uh, the tradition is is to keep it somewhere between the point of the hook and the end of the barb. Um, because I'm using a, a barbless hook, it's somewhat difficult to judge. But I'm quite happy with that length there. Now again, come with your silk in tight touching turns and bring it back up the body and the fly. And you want to finish your uh, your body silk about six turns of thread back from the eye of the hook. This will give you enough room to put in the hackle as well as a nice head for the fly. Now, with your silk, to form the rib, just simply come over that orange body in nice symmetrical turns. And it's important when you do the rib is that you wrap your ribbing material in the same direction as you wrapped your original silk. This is important because then when you come to trap it in, you're actually working with the thread. So it's, it's actually binding that rib down. If you go the opposite way around, it has a tendency to slightly loosen that thread. So we always want to go in the same direction as the initial uh, wraps of silk. Now to prepare as uh, golden plover hackle, we come in with nice, as I say, it's quite a greyish, lightish coloured hackle. And we start to expose the tip of that fly, of that hackle, like so. 
take your scissors just trim down that tip so you've got a nice little tip there to tie it in with now catch it in with three or four nice firm wraps of silk so it's not going to go anywhere if you've got any access uh, tip just cut it off away from the eye of the hook so it's nice and clean and then come in with your hackle pliers and start to wrap the hackle now people get into arguments about how many uh, turns of hackle you need to take uh, some people say only two but to be honest there is no hard and fast rule in this number a lot of people tie them overly sparse personally i like to go at least two and a half possibly three turns of hackle which gives me a more more buggy looking fly and as the trout starts to take the fly the hackle fibers will start to to fret away and start to be bitten off so you want a reasonably dense hackle there once you're happy with that bind it down with two wraps of silk come in with your whip finish tool and take three nice firm wraps for the whip finish you don't want to take too many turns you want a nice small head to the fly and that there is Pritz number one for water cricket. Mm -hmm.